Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. And today we are drinking beers from Asylum Brewing. In Anaheim, California. So please stick around. Music. Yeah, so we went to Asylum Brewing, which is uh, in Anaheim, California, right around the corner from Bottle Logic, which you hear me talk about Bottle Logic all the time. I love them. But Asylum has so much personality, and their beers are fantastic. It's just, we love horror films. We talk about that all the time. Yep. And it just had that sort of theme. It's like we were at home, right? Yeah, it was super cool. The minute you walked in, there's a chandelier hanging down, black walls, cool painting, um, pictures on the wall, great music, great vibe. And the minute I walked in and even saw the beer tenders there, and I, I just knew, we're going to love this place, and we sure did. The beer tenders were Paul and Monica, and they were awesome. Oh, they treated us so great. I mean, we loved them. And uh, they had the tanks right there for brewing. And uh, again, the, the decor was just fantastic. Just extremely cool. A cozy kind of place, too. It's a small place, but like I said, small but big in personality. Yeah, they had a lot of, they had games for, you know, if you like to play games for entertainment, all kinds of things. It was really, really a fun place. Awesome. And so we have a couple of their beers. We have Monsters Never Die, which is, uh, it's a West Coast style IPA, 7.5 percent alcohol by volume and we have no escape hazy deepa that's a double ipa and i love again the artwork on yeah. the monsters never die it's, cool it's just yeah it's just very very Craft cool beers, just the artwork alone draws you in and just super cool just for the artwork alone so because monsters never die and uh being a horror nerd and of course i had to bring out my King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah. It has a nice golden color. Give it a drive-by. <laughs> yeah, that is, is citrusy. Mm -hmm. I get the, the grapefruit. Yeah, really citrusy. Yeah, right away. Yeah, it yeah, smells really little, good. Little, little to touch taste. of bready, but uh, definitely yeah, I, fruit forward. I smell forward. bread and fruit forward as well. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try it. That's really smooth. Yeah, it is just so nice. I get fruitiness from it. Wow, it's got a nice rich body flavor to it, to me. Yeah, it's hoppy. Yeah. But not overly, it's not good. Yeah, not overly hoppy, um, not too, you know, a, much of a bite. It's very smooth. And it's really weird, because with this, I even get, uh, I was even t I was talking about it the first time we tasted it. I, I even get, like, cherries. I get all sorts of fruity flavors coming from it. It's just a great sipper. It is so good. When you take a drink of it too, it doesn't have a whole lot of fizz. It's just kind of a, it's not like dead and flat, but it's just got a perfect smoothness. It's very good. Yeah, it has, it's a light mouthfeel, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes like magic when you drink it. <laughs> It does. Yeah, something's different, real different. I even get caramel. I think they did the voodoo on it. <laughs> That's what was going on in there. Why it was all dark. Yeah, I'm getting even kind of tangerine and uh, orange peel. I'm I tasting can't, I all can't kinds explain. of things in it. When it's so, it's just got such a nice mellow flavor. It's just very mellow compared to a lot of IPAs that we have recently. Yeah, and on the tasty meter, which is a one through five. I'd give this a 4.5. See, I would even go higher with this. I would go with a 4.8. Ooh, man. And I usually don't go that high on something that's that not That is really, really but good. But yeah, yeah, I really enjoy this a lot. That is so good. Now we have another one to yeah, try. Yeah, we have another one to try. And we don't usually do two beers in uh, one of our tastings, but we do two. Why not? Oh, but we no, we don't glass. have another glass. <laughs> so, so we'll go get the other right glass. Hold on right here, yeah. and we'll be right back. And we're back. And now we have the No Escape Hazy Double IPA, which we have not tried yet. So I'm really excited to try this out. And I love uh, on the cans how it says uh, crazy good beer, because it is crazy good oh, yeah, beer for that's, sure. That's the saying that they have there too. Yeah, they because have that up on the wall. Th they have the, dis the meaning of uh, the word asylum and they have it above a really cool couch. We'll flash a picture for you guys. Yeah, and the story behind uh, the asylum in which it's uh, actually yeah. named. 
and they have a picture of the old house on the wall that where, where they got the name Asylum from. So not as dark. This one here is uh, more of um, Very, a light golden If it still color. matches Kenya Dora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a light golden color than uh, the uh, Monsters Never Die. Let's and give it a sniffery. Yeah, give that a sniff. Now this is the 8.5. Yeah, I'm not really, for being a double IP, I'm not good. really smelling that. It smells very you? smooth. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's clean smelling is what it is. Very clean. Yeah, it's not very fragrant like the Monsters Never Die is, but let's give her a taste. Let's give it a taste of real. Yeah, totally different than that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, very different. This is very smooth. This is a, a double IPA. It's not harsh at all. It has some light bitterness to it. It's and, really uh, good. You can taste it's a hazy. It's just got that little more fruit forward. Yeah, I'm getting some even kind of pineapple out of it. Yeah, pineapple, but yet citrusy as well. Yeah, it's a delicious hazy. See, and this one's an 8.5, correct? And that's a 7.5. If, yeah. if I were to guess, I would have guessed the other way around. You would have? Yeah. I would say the Monsters Never Die is more flavorful. This is extremely yeah. smooth. It's a very nice double IPA. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I love them both. This is really good. It's got that little creamy, even flavor in it. Yeah. But the, the Monsters Never Die is I just think is really a very unique idea. Yeah, it's funny because I was going to ask you which one pale did you like. Pale which pale one did you like best? Yeah, out of this the one two. is so good. Monsters yeah. Never Die. It's just awesome. This yeah, is my favorite. Yeah, me too. With the, I would say the Monsters Never Die, but this is extremely flavorful oh, as yeah. well. Oh yeah, it's and, awesome. And on the tasty meter, the scale of one through five, what would you give this one? I'd give this a four point two. So I would go with a four. So we're we're pretty close on okay. that. Yeah. So yeah, both That's, rated high, really high. These these were so good. Yeah. So that monsters that ne never die is just very unique. Something about it's just m a magic. Yeah, yeah. But they had all kinds of great beers there. Of course, while we were there, we were having some different beers. Yeah. And um, yeah, they were all fantastic. We had a really good time there. It's a cool place. And um, they did tell us one night out of the week they have the comedy club, which we will mention. How fun to go to a cool brewery like that and see a comedy show, you know? And so, you know, Asylum, uh, you rock. Yeah, yeah. Highly recommend you go check out Asylum Brewing. Don't miss it. California trip. If you go to Disneyland, go to Asylum. And make sure you follow them on social media. I will post that up so you can check them out. And I'll also include it in the description below in this uh, video. Well, thank you so much for joining us here at Who's Heavy Metal on Beer now? Club. Stay safe, drink responsibly, and, and don't, don't forget, forget to, to stay metal. Here's the beers. Yeah. Here's the beers on Friday night. <laughs> what time is it? Time for our show? Yeah. Okay, turn it on, lover. That's fun, and we got beers and whatnot. <laughs>